Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're gonna look at level loading and how you can navigate after you've loaded a level. So the first thing we need to do, especially in VR, is go to our Blueprints folder and we're gonna to need to create a game mode. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna Blueprint class, it's like game mode base. And then in here, I'm just gonna call it GM with a prefix. And then we'll call this VR game mode. Hit enter. And in here, we're gonna select our motion controller pawn. So we're gonna open this up and it says default pawn class. Let's select that and we're gonna use motion controller pawn. We want the one that looks like a little chess piece. So we're gonna hit compile and save. And now what we can do is we can actually delete our camera from the scene and we can bring in a player start, drop it down slightly. So it's in the floor about halfway. If we press P on the keyboard, we can see that we've got a nav mesh, which is what we're gonna need. And we're gonna select our player start and we're gonna set this to auto receive input. Set this to player zero. And now what we need to do in our world settings, we need to set our game mode to the one that we've just created. So we're gonna choose the drop down. We're gonna choose game mode underscore VR game mode, which is the one that we just created. And now what we can do is we've got a drop down VR preview is we can jump into the project and you see we're spawning, we can teleport around. And now what we need to do is set up a new level that we can actually jump into. So I'm just going to maps folder, go file, I'm going to do new level. And in this one, I'm going to use the VR basics. So we're going to hit save. And in here, you can see it drops us right in. And if I press play, you can see I can't actually do anything. I've got no teleportation, nothing. So we're going to fix this. So same as normal, the first thing you need to do is check that you have a nav mesh component in the scene. If we press play, we don't. So we're going to search nav mesh, bounds volume, bring this in, put it intersecting through the floor, and I'm going to scale it up just so we can see it. Now if I hit P, we can actually see where we can move, which is exactly what we're after. And now we can actually use the player start in the scene to move this down into the floor. And in the details panel, we can set this to auto receive input. We set this to player zero. Go ahead and save. It's going to ask us to save our level. Let's call this, we'll call this VR test. We'll hit save. And then should be good in world settings. We want to make sure our game mode override is set to the same one. So our GM VR game mode, which we created. So now, if we jump into this scene, we can do the same thing. We can teleport and we can move around. And now what we can do is in here, if we create a little cube, we can actually load the level. So I'm gonna get the name of our motion controller map. I'm just gonna do a control C. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a blueprint and it's just gonna act as our little level load. So I'm gonna go blueprint class, actor, BP underscore, load level and in here I'm just going to make a little cube which I can touch and it'll change our level so with that slightly we're going to scroll down component begin overlap I drag off and do open level and then paste it in there so we've got that I'm going to drag it into the scene We'll move it to about here. So now if I hit play, and you see we can't actually move around once we're in it. So this is something we've got to fix. So let's go to our map, our motion control map. We're going to hit save selected. And we're going to bring in our blueprint actor that we created to load the level and um, we're going to change this one to our other level. So I'm actually going to change this to a variable so we can access it in the level. Do level name, click on valid save. So set up as motion controller map, which is not what we need here. We need our VR test. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it onto this one. So now we can actually go back and forth. 
but we need to fix our teleportation. So now if we jump into our scene, we can actually go between different levels, but you can see we still can't teleport. And this is what we need to fix. What we can do is actually go to our Raycast nav mesh by default, and we can do force rebuild on load. So we're gonna enable force rebuild on load. We're gonna jump over to our test level, Raycast. We're gonna make sure force rebuild on load is also set up there. So I've already done this. Let's save, hit play. Now we can go over, teleport. And we can now teleport between our scenes the way that we should be able to. So, so that's how we can actually travel between levels and set it up for a quick little test and just get the navigation working. So it's all up and running. So just use force rebuild on load. Don't forget to save all before you actually test it. Otherwise it might not actually work. So just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it for now. If there's anything you do want to see, let me know down in the comments below. It's really helpful. And a like always works as well, just for that YouTube algorithm, just being the pain that it is essentially. But yeah, we also have a Discord down below, which is linked in the description. And we do have a Patreon. So if you want access to these files and you want to have a play around with some of the other stuff that we've done in the past, then maybe head on over there and check it out. It'd be really cool. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.